Hello everyone, this is Xander Turon, and I am back with the first Dutch Exceptional Tournament. This is semi-finals game two between uh, Killing Smalls on the blue team with Eurocore General, and on the red team, General Belanger with also Eurocore General. So this should be interesting. Obviously we're here on punch bowl. Uh, let's just speed this right along. Bit of a longer deployment. There we go. Alright, starting with blue. Let's see, we got. Sorry, got uh, the MX10 RC, got Panzer 90 in the Marder 2, and then Commando Para in the T20. So that's obviously just Light Force going to Echo. And then have a PH2 Tiger, 10RC, that's going to be Legion 90, and a VAB AA. That's going to be going to Charlie. I'm not sure about the Tiger. Tiger could be swinging around or doing some shenanigans. Who knows? Alright, got three RC, four RCs. Got Legion 90, Crotal, uh, Commando Para, um, Reserve East. And a Leclerc and a Mortar. So it looks like uh, Smalls is definitely going for a Bravo push. He's probably going to try take Bravo and then maybe swing up into Delta or he could try swinging down in the Foxtrot. Uh, or both, you never know. As for General Boulanger, looks like his main thrust is definitely heading along the bottom. Uh, it tends not to work out, but sometimes it does, you never know. I uh, got Commando Para, Panzergren, 90 presumably, I do believe. 10RC and a VAP AA. And a Leclerc. Oh, interesting. More Legion and Panzer 90. Oh, and VBL Mistral. Um, it's a unit I want to like, but it really is not all that good. Part of it is, it's, if I recall correctly, it's air optics. Like his ability to actually detect helicopters and planes is not that good, or at least plane optics. Can't remember if air optics affects helicopters as well. Anyway, so at that point, yeah, it's not very good at detecting the things it's supposed to shoot, and then only having two mistrals at the ready is just tends to bring it down a bit. Anyway, I've got a got that. Oh, martyr two and a mortar and an FOB. So we're probably gonna be seeing some uh, LRM related shenanigans. That's my guess. Looks like a Mullen F three, Commando Pair and a VABA. So he's definitely, um, I guess he's just going to set up outside Bravo, like put the uh, Milan in there or something, or, you know, just chill out in this area is my guess. He's not going to go into Bravo. Over here we got a couple of RCs, Legion 90 and a VAB AA, so once again, just a light force heading to Delta. And now let's see how it actually goes. Oh, I hate my allergies so much. So yeah, Tiger 2 is swinging around. Like Tiger 2, PH2 Tiger. That could be dangerous for um, Boulanger on account of the fact that he doesn't really have any great AA, he just has a VAB. Which if it catches the PH2 Tiger, it can to knock it out, but the PH2 Tiger has exceptional optics and does outrange it with his ATGM, so you never know. Oh, Commando Paris got whacked. Oh, those guys went right in. Yep, I'm on F3 there. Oh. What did they get an RC or something? Looks like it. I'm on F3's popping that. So, yep. Killing Smalls realized that the big push from Boulanger is going through Echo, so he's actually shifting down by the looks of it. Oh, Milan F3 has got the thing there. Come out of pair of whack that one. Oh, yeah, Jaeger. Oh, so, right, it's upvetted Jaeger. The 
Claire's getting a nice trail of smoke. Oh, base security coming out from Belanger. Oh, and a Cesar. Ooh, fun. Oh, no, Para putting up a decent fight, but yeah, they're just going to get overwhelmed at this point. Oh, Belanger is being a bit more aggressive here. He's pushing it forward a bit. Down here, yep, he's just continuing the push, but yeah, that Leclerc right there could be trouble for him. That being said, Belanger has his own Leclerc, but it looks like it got whacked pretty hard. I guess it's that that Leclerc got a good shot on it. Possibly a side shot. Panzer Grenadier should come out on top of the Commando, Para. There's a supply truck on the way, yes there is. Until then that Leclerc is going to be very... is really going to dictate the flow of combat. Oh, it's Rima 85 actually, interesting choice. Not Legion. Uh, Rima 85 are good. Um, in a general deck it might be hard to fit him in just because the Legion 90 with the Evericks are pretty good. But these guys are definitely a lot better in forest combat than, uh, what should we call them, Legion. Because, especially at close range, even though they're less accurate and have less range, they just have that 20 rounds a minute with 23 AP, and yeah, they just chew up things like nobody's business. Nope, Tiger is swinging back down around. AMX 13s are sneaking into Delta, and then the Turn is taking up position there. Interesting. Oh, Vab's out of ATGMs. Did it, what did it donk at all trying to shoot those? Oh, Caesar's bombarding these guys because they don't really have much anywhere else to go. Oh, Command of Train the Panther moving up to Charlie. Looks like uh, Killing Small wants to get that early plus two. Rima are going to be in a bad spot. Oh, but the Leclerc is providing support, but he has to be careful of that because the other Leclerc is moving in. He should pull that back just to keep, make sure it doesn't get whacked. Otherwise, yeah, those Rima are just out in the open and gone. Oh, is the Leclerc... Ooh. Okay. Looks like it's barely making it out of there. Now these guys are drawing fire. Oh, but they're going to run right into that RC. Oh, but they're aiming. And they whack it. Jaeger popping some 13s. Since these do have three frontal armor, they don't, uh, the Alpha 10s don't go down in one shot to 16 AP. Oh, 10 RCs are going at it. Oh, that one actually wins. And a command delta is heading up to Delta. But those AMX 13s are still there, but that 10 RC should be able to clean them up if it runs into them. Leclerc is being fixed up from Belanger. That Mistral is going to have a bad day. Or maybe not that Leclerc is. It's drawn. Just sitting a nice cloud of smoke. Oh, Bab is tearing apart the reservies. Oh, Leclerc is whacking some Jaeger. Mistral's pulling back. That Leclerc is just whacking reservies. Oh, but more reservies are moving in. Oh, he's trying. Oh, donks bow shots in the Leclerc. And then gets chewed up a bit by... I think it took a hit from the VAB and maybe the Mistral as well. Actually, I think that might have all been VAB. Doesn't matter. Oh, Leclerc's adding his fire against the Reserve East. Oop. Jaeger are down. That Leclerc is out of friends. Oh, but the Rima 85 used their last Apulas to whack a Legion squad, but now they're going to go down. Leclerc's running low, but there's a Moncati on standby for it. Mortar's booking it. What's Boulanger going to do? Oh. Smalls has forgotten to unload his panther. He needs to do that. Oh, there we go. Oh, panther's swinging around. Looks like he's going after the 10RC. This is going to get the hit. It's looking pretty good. Oh, and yep. Leclerc is pulling back to that tree line there. Oop, tiger coming out from Boulanger. 
A situation like this where the lack of auto cannon on the Tiger really, on the PH2 Tiger, comes against it because if I had an auto cannon, you know, it would be able to take out that AMX 13, but say Livy. Oh, but it's flying right into a Crotel. And gone. That's a bit of a waste of points from Boulanger there. Oh, Peace Rhine is out. Is it going for... Okay, whack the... Is that a Mistral? Yes, it was. The Vab is out of ammunition. That could, means that Tiger could do a little bit of damage. Maybe not. It has two missiles and two rockets. And misses one shot. Part of the things that the HOTS have only just kind of okay stabs. It's actually pretty comparable to uh, Toe 2's. I think they have about the same AP, around the same accuracy. I think Toe's are at 65, 70% accuracy, something like that. Same range. Oh, AMX 13. Shooting up an M113. Uh, oh, they're both stunned. Uh, in terms of map control, it's kind of interesting, I'd say. Both players can have toe holds in each other's one pointers down here. And uh, for Delta, it's mostly clear from blue. And Belanger does have a bit of a toe hold in Charlie, but not a major one. As for Bravo, it's interesting. Uh, or maybe not. Got a pile of reserve use moving in there. Because, um, what is it? Smalls doesn't really have a major preference in Bravo, so if Belanger wanted, he could like drive some guys up here and well, I think he can drive some guys up there and yeah, they can get into Bravo. And the Caesar is just bombarding things. The Claire is doing its thing. Looks like some Jaeger and some Rima moving in. Oh wow, those guys actually managed to kill something with their AT weapon. Probably one of the worst in the game, if only because it has less range than anything else. You know, most AT weapons, you know, the bad ones are 525. This one's 455 for some reason. Who knows? Oh, MX-10RC went down there. Um, I think the Panzer Grenadier got it. Oh. And whatever that was going for, miss bow shots. Okay. Milan moving in, that could be interesting if he gets into there. That can help dictate movement of vehicles. Especially over there if he gets into that corner. But that Leclerc is going to be trouble. Oh, Peace Ryan is back out. And there, oh, Mirage. Ooh, that's not going to be good for the Peace Ryan. Fired one Maverick and missed by the looks of it. Uh, Jaeger and Commander Pairs are not in a good spot, especially because those Jaeger are caught in close quarters, so their machine gun is... Actually, they're shooting up the reserve east and not even going after the Panzer Grenadier. Oh, but the Commando Pair go down. Pairs getting screened as it moves up. Ooh, Rima could be... Those Rima get into there, that forest, they could be trouble for that Leclerc. Commando Para, and that must be what's in the Panther. Um, yeah, they should be able to take apart the Panzer Grenadier pretty quickly. One of those guys donk a shot. Oh, they're panicked, that's why they're missing. But they still hit. Okay, Command Infantry coming out from Smalls for Echo. It looks like he wants to get that plus one ticking. He did have a plus two tick for a little bit, so at 18 to 2 for points. Not a huge difference. <clears throat> oh, looks like the Rima going at it, and the Commando Pair going at it with those Panzer Grand. Ooh, Panther's swinging in, that could be pretty bad. But the VAB's trying to get into position, but it doesn't have the range. Wow, Smalls has had no luck with his Peace Rhines this game. That is really unfortunate for him. So Rima, go down. Panzer Grand here got pretty messed up in the process. Uh, Legion got pretty messed up 
by the 10 RC in the Rima, but I don't think that Rima 85 is going to last much longer. Here. So yeah, Rima 85 are in Bravo now. Oh, and a command lapper going out for Bravo. Smalls just really wants to get that those points taken. Oh, 10 RC in the 1390 going at it. One has all the rate of fire, the other one has all the accuracy. And neither is hitting. Oh, there you go. That's the advantage of the 1390 against the um, <coughs> 10 RC is up. Yeah, at close range, the 1390 will, can really take him apart just because of how fast it shoots. Rate of fire is king at close range. And a Crotel coming out from Boulanger. Looks like he wants to get that into Charlie to help with the Panthers. Is that some smoke? Yeah, it looks like he's screening for his Leclerc. Speaking of Leclerc, I don't see Smalls. Is that... Yeah, I think that was the one from before. Yeah, that's the one, definitely the one from before. It looks like he shifted it upwards. Interesting. That could be what undoes him here in Echo, because he no longer has that Leclerc to dictate the flow of battle. Now that means uh, Belanger's Leclerc is going to be dictating the fight in Echo and Foxtrot. Uh, that being said, uh, General Belanger is taking, or Dead Means is taking a plus one. Oh, Rafael is out. That just gets gunned down. Oh, Caesar's looking for the group to commit, or not the group to commit, the Führungsgruppe, who are displacing. It looks like the Rafael is going to try and just kind of fly, circle around near Belanger's air spawn, use its stealth to remain hidden. Nope, and a peace rain. Yeah, as soon as, uh, as soon as um, was it Belanger sees the peace rain, he's going to send his Mirage out, and then the Rafael is going to bounce it. That's my guess. Mm -hmm. Did it donk it shots again, or did it actually get something? That's a 10 RC. Don't know whose it was. Judging from where it is, it probably was one of Boulanger's. Boulanger, however is that name is pronounced? Uh, so which, does he see the Raphael? No, he does not. Oh, yeah, he gets the occasional glimpse of it. So if he's paying attention, he's going to see that on his mini-map. No, three Zervis are pushing up. Looks like Smalls is trying to take advantage of the forest here to try and get, in, you know, get into these trees here and intercept uh, General's reinforcements heading to Foxtrot. T20s are really putting a number on, doing a number on those guys. Oh, but the Panther is there. One reserve just gets wrecked. And the second one goes down. And these guys still have a couple rockets. <coughs> yeah, Rima 85 are definitely going to take apart those reserves, so... Oh, looks like the CV in Echo did go down. Oh, Mirage and a Super at Nod. Or Etendard, however that's pronounced. I can't remember what that's French for. I don't see the Raphael, did it? Bingo. Also, didn't Smells call it a CV for Bravo? Did that go down? Or did he just cancel it instead? I don't know. Anyway, he has a command number one heading to Echo, so it's a bit more, uh, you know, sniping resistant. Oh, Raphael versus Mirage. And it's a trade. That's why I'm not overly fond of Super ASS. I find that they tend to trade more often than they win. Or too often. I'm pretty sure they still win most of the time against, you know, like the you know, mid-range ASS, you know, the 120, 130 point range ones. Could just be, you know, confirmation bias on my part. I don't know. Peace Ryan's gonna whack the RC, I suppose. Hey, it actually hits once. <coughs> oh, and Belanger's getting a own three. Hmm. Jaeger unload a fair distance away from the town so they don't get whacked by the Legion. And as soon as those Legions start shooting, that Panther is going to do a number on them. I think I got the spot, though. 
Yeah, he's not spawning him. Doesn't have any optic. Oh, now he is. Here, one is just kind of chilling. That is still out of ammo. Or is that the same one from before? I don't know. Leopard 204 is out, but I have a feeling our peace run is going to be on the way for that. If it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's just driving along. Just chilling. Oh, Commando Para on the ground, or Commando Marine on the ground. <coughs> there goes the VAB. And two peace rhines. Yep. That Leopard 2A4 better be careful, otherwise it's going to eat a uh, AGM-65D up the tailpipe. Ooh, it's just coming out from Boulanger. Looks like he's going to try and counter cap Charlie. Does that, that will give him plus one. Right now, uh, Smalls is taking up plus one, 55 to two. Blanchard has taken a decent chunk out of that FOB so far. Looks like he's trying to be a little bit conservative with Caesar so he doesn't just completely drain it. Then, you know, he doesn't, you know, if you don't have any good targets for it to use it, you know, no point in using it. Ooh, Martyr 2 is driving across. That could be trying to intercept or go into Delta, depending. FRP is at the wheeled one. Right, that's track. FRR is the wheeled one. Always forget that. And yeah, Legion go down, and then Commando Marine are just going to waste those reservies. Oh, but the Mario 2 is going to be providing some set of fire support. It's not the greatest against infantry due to its low rate of fire, but the 1.5 HE can definitely add up. Actually, what is this range against helicopters? 1575, that's the same as most auto cannons, I do believe. Yeah. That being said, if a helicopter does get within range, the Martyr 2 um, can do a f decent bit number on it. I'm surprised that uh, Small doesn't put like an RC up in here. Oh, now the Martyr 2 is doing a thing and whacking some light armor. That RC has definitely seen better days. These rides are almost bingo. He's flying him out. Is it? Is he? Does he only have the one card of ASS? Did he not have like an, a second card? Nope. It's going in. Oh, it's going after something. No, it just gets whacked by the Roland. That's a bit of a waste from uh, Smalls there. <coughs> that, that was really weird. He must have just lost track of it. Um, for map control right now, I'm definitely going to say that Belanger is in a better spot. He needs to cap Foxtrot, or he hasn't capped Foxtrot yet. Um, both players, he has an okay position in Bravo, not great. He has basically has enough of a toehold there that he can force his way through the rest of it, but that's not his main effort. Looks like he's just basically putting enough stuff there that he can maintain an open route through Delta and into Charlie. And now he's going to counter cap it. That's going to give him plus one. Not a moment too soon. Scores in here. Yeah, 100 to two, 3 now. Now he's got the plus one. Ooh, that being said, Smalls is going to cap Bravo. Of his command of tree is probably. That's going to get Caesared. That is my guess. Reserve East got caught in a bad spot by those Commando Marine and Leopard 2A4. Ooh, that VAB is sneaking around, but there's a lot of 50 shooting at it, and it is only one armor. And the Leclerc is driving back, and yet yeah, now I get stunned. And yep, yeah, Iltis coming out for Foxtrot. Looks like. <coughs> what was it? Belanger wants to get that plus one back, and is the Caesar aiming? Uh, not yet. And yeah, 
Uh, Smalls is putting a lot of reinforcements in the Bravo. Looks like he wants to get Belanger out. Because if he does that, he can then threaten Delta and he can uh, basically keep uh, Belanger from reinforcing in Charlie effectively. Another VAB is swinging around by looks like. Those have pretty good autonomy, don't they? Yep. Oh, is that Malong going to whack a five point truck? No, it's going to miss a shot. VAB is probably a better target. And the 10RC is sort of there. Mm, this is. Oh, now that Milan's down to get spot because now it's taking fire. Is the 10RC going to save it in time? No, it does not. And then it misses anyways. And it captures a supply truck. Nice. <coughs> yeah. Uh, Bone Launcher has definitely made a lot of headway here in Charlie. That and his sneaking... His sneaky breaky with the VABs has definitely caused um, Smalls here to reposition his guy so that that doesn't happen. Tiger's still there, but it only has two snaps. Oh, but there's a supply truck coming out. Lodger is taking a plus one because he has capped Fox and he's counter capping Charlie. Oh, Peace Ryan is out. Oh, probably going for the VAB. Nope. It's just kind of there. And it's evacing, and yeah, Mirage is there to say hello. Oops, Caesar is firing. Where is it? Is that the Caesar? Looks like it. I suppose he isn't trying to get the CV and Bravo. Then again, if you count, if he. Oh, that being said, if he can count or sneak, snipe the CV and Charlie, that's plus two for him, so that's gonna put him at plus three. <coughs> so it does make sense to try and get the Charlie CV. Thing is, it's probably a lot easier to get the Bravo CV because there's a lot fewer options for where it could be, potentially. That's most likely, you know, gonna be in those buildings or in those trees there. Oh, Panther is flying right over. No AA, but there's a Crotal moving up. Panther has not really spotted it. And yeah, it's just gonna land. Super Ednard. Oh, nope. Looks like he's trying to get the uh, Leclerc, but lost line of sight. Oh, but he does get the Crotal. Oh, and F4F KDBS. Yep, so he does have two cards of CVs, or of ASS, I remember that. Oh, but does not get the kill because it's the F4F and it's not allowed to hit with the Sand Rams. 10 RC, um, if it was full health, I'd say that could, could be pretty dangerous, but it's out of ammo and has 1 HP. So it's not the biggest threat ever. No, oh, Martyr 2. Looks like Belanger might try and get back into Bravo through the bottom here. And he is definitely reinforcing the top. <coughs> and the Legion 90 gave their position away. That being said, there's still the two stack of Panzer Grenadier, which is going to be a decently tough target. Launcher's at 50 or 59 now to 100. Got a lot of random guys around his base for his security. Oh, no group. Okay, group demand is relocating. Oh, but the M113 is there. If it doesn't get stunned, it's going to spot that group to command. And yep, T20 going to gonna save the day by the looks of it. Smalls is pushing though. <coughs> He's got a lot of stuff. He's got Panzer Grenadier. Looks like 90 and 75. Martyr 2 got whacked though. 
<coughs> Leclerc is leading the charge, and that's that's actually probably a smart move from them to relocate this Leclerc to Charlie. Because now that's going to dictate the battle in Charlie. You know, not a lot happening in Echo and Foxtrot, so, you know, Belanger's Leclerc is maybe a little wasted there now. Because he's not doing anything, but that Leclerc is definitely putting a lot of work in. <clears throat> that and it's just a lot more awkward for, um,. Belanger to reinforce into Charlie. Oh, Beast Ryan is out. Uh, but there is the uh, Roland 2 there. Roland 3, I mean. Uh, yes, one hit. Oh, and the VAP is putting fire on it. And gone. Wow, Roland hit both missiles. That's like a first. Oh, FRF is intercepting the Mirage. It gets one hit. Oh, gets the stun and gets the kill. Oh, but it's flying over two Rolands and goes down. Uh, that being said, I do believe General Belanger is actually out of ASS now. He lost both of his Mirage 2000s. And, um, me, uh, Small still, should still have one KWS. Oh, that Mark II put the herd into that Mark II. <clears throat> Means it's taking a plus one now because, uh, Belanger had to pull back his Eltis out of Charlie. He does have a lot more reinforcements on the way, or a little bit of reinforcement, not a lot. Oh, this Panzer Grenadier's got a lot of hurt put on him. See, that memes. Memes. Dead memes. So many dead memes. Anyway. Uh, so 120 to 94, so still a. Not a huge difference, but it's still a significant enough one that uh, Belanger should be worried about it. But he has put his Iltis back in. It's a bit risky, so he's taking a plus one again. Two Super Etnards. I don't know what they're going for. At this point, yeah, they're just going to waste their missiles on random junk. Well, Mars is not really random junk, but not the most efficient use for him. Panzer Grenadier definitely taking a lot of hurt. Oh, that Milan 3 is not in a good spot, though. That's going to go down. Okay, it pulls back to one building block. And then the Panzer Grenadier walk into a bunch of other stuff, by the looks of it. A lot of smoke coming out for that Leclerc. And Panzer Grenadier do get shot up. But that Leclerc is now... Oh... It's a good hit onto that 2A4. Super Etnard hasn't committed on it, even though it is spotted and it does not have any smoke. Instead, the Super Etnard puts a shot into that. Oh, it's coming out. And shoots at an M113. Well then. I'm guessing that he was... He didn't actually tell it to attack the Lugler. He's just, you know, right-clicking. You know, just moving it to line it up and... As a result, it just said, oh, I want to shoot that instead of the clear. Especially because it looked like he had the missiles turned off, so he's probably trying to get it in closer to have better accuracy. And another Super Etnard. Probably the first one that resupplied. No ASF coming out. Oh, Cassiopeia, interesting. And that Evax. And more Commando Marine. Looks like he just wants to get that infantry in there as fast as possible. And the, oh. Small's just lost a lot of infantry moving across the open. Just not well coordinated movement. Oh, Caesar's firing at nothing. It's probably trying to stun the Leclerc. And he captured an empty supply truck. It's actually a decent catch, because now uh, Belanger can't reuse it. Uh, that being said, Smalls can't use it either because it's empty. Oh, Vab is out of ammunition. Oh, Vab is opening up on the Panther. Oh, but it goes down. Did the 2A4 get it? Here. 
here. Okay, Belanger is, has pushed. He has to kind of basically has the top part of Bravo, and he's moving his ilts. And can Zanim see that? Doesn't look like it. So now Belanger's taking up plus two. Oh, Super Ednard. Missed a shot on the Martyr too. That dies anyways. Then yeah, the Cassiopeia is there, but there's still a couple of Roland 3s and a Crow Tile, so those Cassiopeias mm, don't think they're going to do too much. And Super Ednard donks a shot on something else. Oh, but there's the other one. Just the Super Ednard, Ednard's constantly being out is just suppressing that Leclerc, so it's not doing it much. Nope, Roland 3 wax one Cassiopeia and gets the other one. Is that 6 HP? Or 6 HE? Ooh, Iltis goes down. Martus just drives right up to it. Looks like they whacked the Leopard 2A4 and the... Or something got the Leopard 2A4, but anyway. And now the Commando Marine are just not in a good place. Oh, Super Narda is going after them. That's said, there's still a two stack of Pentagon at 90. Not exactly an easy target. Tennessee Wax a Crotel. Oh, those two Milan F3s are just sitting there. If they were in those buildings, that'd be a great spot for them, but they're not. And I got Rem 85 coming from the bottom, 10 RC from the top. Those guys aren't in a good spot. And the Caesar's trying to get the Feelings Group. As the right sort of ballpark, it's just not hitting. Uh, anyway, so scores are now 0 0, or acquisition 0 0. But Belanger has managed to get at 162 to 120. And there's the other super Ednard. They're just constantly out. Hello, that is four Cassiopeias. Oh, Mortar went down. Milan of Threes got back into transports. And one of them went down. Fionn's group was just driving right in. Mortar 2 needs to get up in there. Otherwise, that 10RC is going to... Get the Führungs Gruppe. Oh, and it is shooting at him. Oh, Belanger now knows where they are. Oh, and the Cassiopeias are swinging in. Uh, there's a Crotel, full ammo, and a Tiger Hap. That being said, the Tiger's gonna want to keep his distance from the Cassiopeias. There goes one. They both miss. There's only one left. And they're gone. Oh, Fiona's group actually managed to survive. Rima went down and the 10 RC. <coughs> well, over here, Smalls is doing a bit of a push. Uh, it's mostly reserve east, though. Or there are some reserve east. Yeah, vehicles are all down. These Panzer Grenadier aren't going to be able to do much. Oh, Tiger Hap is swinging in. No AA. Oh, but it flies right over the Fiona's group. They might be able to stun it with their machine gun. Let's get worried. It's just spinning now. Oh, and the Panzer are shooting at too. And stunned and panicked. And transactional hit. Yeah, that, yeah, that's why you have to be careful trying to fly Tiger Haps looking for a Fjorn's group or for a command if it's because their machine guns will stun helicopters. Oh, and then that Tiger just flew over that. Oh, but he did spot it. He did spot the CV. He knows where it is. Panzer and are, are gotten in. What was that? Was that a 10 RC? Yes, it was. Vab A. Oh, okay. That, it's out of ammo, but it can spot the group to command. And those commander pair are also potentially dangerous as well if they spot it. Oh, we're clear whacked a Roland. Oh, but is it spotted still? It is. And gone. And looks like Small surrendered with the loss of his Leclerc. Guess he decided that it was just lost cause at that point. <coughs> Alright. Um. I don't want to break it down. Uh, General Boulanger was victorious with 172 conquest points, two dead memes, or killing Small is 120. Smalls had 2,600 kills, General Belanger had 3,695. Uh, how do I want to characterize this battle? 
Um, well, uh, Smalls did a pretty typical opener. General Belanger was not too unusual. He just maybe did, it wasn't generally considered to be the less optimal push, but it's definitely worked out for him. Yeah, you know, uh, for most of the battle, Belanger did have map patrols either equal or in General Belanger's favor. Uh, big thing was General Belanger, you know, he very much did, you know, the two-point push, you know, he was all over, he was constantly putting pressure on Charlie. And then what would happen is, you know, while Smalls is busy trying to reinforce Charlie, Belanger would then, you know, he would push Bravo, and then, you know, Smalls would then, you know, he'd try to shift the Bravo, and then Belanger would then switch back to pushing Charlie. Eventually, um, obviously, Belanger, he managed to countercap Charlie long enough that he got enough points to, you know, he surpassed uh, Smalls, but Smalls did eventually retake, you know, restabilize Charlie for the most part, you know, just the, the big thing is that he didn't catch everything, you know, that VABA, out of ammo, albeit, but still sneaking around, as well as a commando pair, which is also low on ammunition. <coughs> big thing is that uh, Smalls just seemed to do a lot of really inefficient pushes, like, it seemed like very often he was just moving guys across the open, they'd lose their vehicle support, and yeah, and then they just caught, get caught out by Belanger's infantry and fire support and gets to get whacked in the open. Uh, good use from of the Leclerc from Smalls, though. You know, he, once, you know, Foxtrot Echo went quiet, he repositioned back into Charlie where it was, you know, far more useful than just, you know, being in a constant standoff with another Leclerc. And that's maybe something Belanger could have done better. You know, he just kind of left his Leclerc there. But the other thing is, you know, by leaving the Leclerc and Foxtrot, it didn't, didn't mean that if Smalls wanted to, you know, Push out, you know, try pushing Echo or Fox Shop, whichever one was Belanger's. Uh, there was a Leclerc there to, you know, put that down if it got too far. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it seemed like just kind of very inefficient grinding from Smalls seemed to really determine the battle. And it's just, yeah, like Belanger was constantly, you know, Belanger was the one dictating the flow of battle. You know, he attacked one place and then he'd attack another, and Smalls was constantly trying to play catch up by the looks of it. <clears throat> that's how I saw it anyways um that being said so semi-finals were best two out of three so that means that General Belanger this is the second battle one so he moves on to the finals or whatever they are because you know double elimination meanwhile Smalls gets booted down into the loser round I think he has to face Putin there if I recall correctly and then whoever wins the battle between Smalls and Putin then moves on to the finals if I have not forgotten how the order of matches goes Anyway, I'm Xander Tron, and this was the semifinals of the first Dutch Exceptional Tournament. You guys have a lovely day.